Welcome back to today's lesson on chemistry made easy with Bright Edo. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on an important aspect under the non-metal and it is called gaseous fuel and gasification of coke. Now, it must be noted that gasification of coke as a process is very useful in the production of gaseous fuels which is used for domestic and industrial heating. So gasification of coke as a process is used for making gaseous fuels which is used for domestic and industrial heating. So we have examples of the gaseous fuels like the likes of the water gas. Okay, this is very important and this is an example of a gaseous fuel. Now, let's talk about the water gas. Now, the question you ask yourself, what or how is the water gas gotten? The water gas, which let's talk about the source now, is made up of, is made up of steam, is made up of steam and coke it must be noted that water gas in this context is made up of steam and coke now what is steam and what is coke steam here is basically gaseous water that means water in gaseous state that is steam and coke is basically carbon because if we recall one of the allotropes of the amorphous carbon is called coke. So coke here is carbon. So what is the reaction? When steam reacts with coke, we will get water gas. Now this is how the reaction works. Now this is the steam. And steam is H2O, that is gaseous water, reacting with carbon. So when gaseous water reacts with carbon at a very high temperature of about 1000 degrees Celsius, what we get as our product is CO. And what is CO? Carbon monoxide or you say carbon two oxide plus the hydrogen gas. So whenever gaseous water, which is steam, react with coke in the context carbon at a very high temperature of about 1000 degrees celsius we get carbon monoxide or you say carbon two oxide plus hydrogen gas so basically this we've got in is the water gas so this is the water gas being produced and water gas is an example of a gaseous Fuel. Now let's quickly move over to the other gaseous fuel, which is called the producer gas. So let's talk about the other gaseous fuel, which is called the producer gas. Okay, the producer gas. Now, what are the components of the producer gas? How is the producer gas formed? It is formed by reacting. It is formed by reacting a and coke it is formed by reacting air and coke now you know air is a mixture of gases we have various components of air so this air is a mixture of gas which we have examples like the likes of oxygen which makes up 21 percent like the likes of nitrogen gas which makes up 78%, like the likes of carbon four oxide, which makes up 0.03%. We have the likes of rare gases, okay? We have the likes of uh, water vapor, um, and lastly, we have the likes of dust. So these are the components of air. But in the course of this reaction, we'll be using just two components of air. Okay, in the course of this reaction, we'll be using just two components of air. And what are they as stated there? It is oxygen gas and also we are using 
nitrogen gas. We are not using all the components of air. So when this stream of air, they call it stream of air. So when we take part of the air, which contains oxygen gas and nitrogen gas, reacting with coke, we'll get the producer gas. Now, this is how the reaction works. So let's say this coke now, which is carbon, basically reacting with stream of air, which is oxygen gas plus nitrogen gas. Okay, here, this is the air. Uh, basically, we get um, CO plus N2. Okay, but this reaction is not balanced because we are having two atoms of oxygen here. So I think if we put two moles of uh, CO, CO there, the reaction becomes balanced. I'll put two here, the reaction becomes balanced. Okay, so this uh, component we just got is called the producer gas. Okay, that this is called the producer gas. So you can see how all of these gaseous fuels are being formed from producer gas i said will take stream of air which contains oxygen and nitrogen gas reacting with coke so when that happens we get carbon monoxide or you say carbon two oxide and nitrogen gas so this is another example of a gaseous fuel now let's talk about the third gaseous fuel and it is called synthesis gas Okay, it is called the synthesis gas. Now, it must be noted that synthesis gas is made up of methane, which is an alkane plus, or you say, and steam. Recall I said steam is gaseous water. That is water in gaseous state, and methane is an alkane with the chemical formula CH4. So, let's move over to the reaction. So methane, which is CH4, reacting with H2O, gaseous water, will get in the presence of a catalyst. And that catalyst is called Milke at a temperature of, of about 800 degrees Celsius. Take note of this catalyst. When this happens, we get CO, which is carbon monoxide or carbon two oxide, plus hydrogen gas. But in this context, we have to balance the reaction. We are having six hydrogen cells that we're having four, two, four plus two, that's six. So when we put three here, the reaction becomes balanced. So this we go, we've got in now is called a synthesis gas. So you can see how all of these gaseous fuels are being formed. So you can see all of these reactions and how it works. Recall, I said four. The uh, for the production of water gas, it occurs at a temperature of, of about 1000 degrees Celsius, but for the production of synthesis gas, it occurs at a temperature of, of about 800 degrees Celsius in, in the presence of a catalyst which is nickel. If you like this video, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share my videos to friends. Thank you very much and God bless you.